All right, you guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial here on my channel. And in today's tutorial, it's a very simple one, as I built it in my last uh, Let's Play video in my single player world. And it's this building behind me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put up uh, the inspiration photo for this on the screen right now. And this is actually, I was looking at like recreations of London or Londinium when the Romans built it. I wanted to base my single player world on that inspiration of London because it was a very well thought out, you know, city. That's how Rome liked to do it. They liked to make things perfectly, you know, symmetrical, perfectly squared type cities like that. So I wanted to kind of take that inspiration and build it in my single player world. And with that, I know a lot of the times they would have ports and with the ports they would usually do taxes or some type where whatever delivery or merchants come through they would take it into these warehouses and look at all their stuff first and then take taxes depending on whatever the area would tax off of before they could take their merchandise and go sell it in the town or city. So that's what I wanted to build down was at, at this type of port with these two giant warehouses that are standing behind me. Now it's a super simple build. I'll get to it in just a second. Just so you know it is 23 blocks this way and 13 blocks the other direction. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Although, again, if you hear background noise, it's the AC, it's hot, I'm sorry, I I'm only human. And if you like my tutorials, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because I'd love to hit a thousand subs eventually. So starting out, you're gonna wanna go ahead and label the four posts of the building. That's at least how I do things. So let's go ahead and get some space here, right there. So it said 23 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then from here, including this one, 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 13, my bad. And we should be lined up directly with this other build, which is perfect. That's why I like building them side by side so that I know I am lined up like that. Now these four corner blocks, I'm using sandstone bricks and they wanna go up seven blocks tall until you have four seven block tall posts like a so. Now with this build, I used uh, spruced, uh, sorry, stripped acacia wood and acacia planks because my planks are not as red as they would be. IR, IRL Minecraft, IRL Minecraft, that's a thing. Let me show you. As you can see, if you were using the default texture pack, this is how bright and orange it would be. Honestly, it's not that bad of a look, especially if you use cut red sandstone the entire time for the roof instead of bricks. Although even then the bricks don't look half bad either. Ugh, that looks so bad. Thank God for my texture pack. So from here, you're going to take, I'm going to build this with spruce instead of the stripped acacia so that you can see the two different versions at least and notice how close and similar stripped spruce is to stripped acacia. But coming over here, you want to go up four blocks tall, one, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, put a log and take it all the way across, if I can do that, on the longest parts on the 23 blocks. Now on the shorter sides, we're also gonna take it up four blocks and on the fourth block, connect it over like a so until you have your four logs in like this. Then with all these corners here, we're gonna fill it in only one block out, three blocks tall, obviously till we hit the top wood right there until you have something like this. For the shorter sides, we're gonna take a log straight down on the next block over until you have something like this and then you're gonna fill it with the planks or you can leave it open if you wanna have this be your entrance, or you can put a door in it if you wanna put a door in it. Now for the longer sections, we're gonna start by filling this in with planks, not having a log here, unlike the smaller sides. You're gonna have three planks, and then you're gonna put a log until you have something like that. Again, you can leave it open or you can put doors in it. Either way, I'm just gonna close it up with these planks. So you're gonna just repeat that, three planks and then a log. Three planks, log, three planks, log, and three more planks. And when you fill that all in, you'll have... And with that being said, you have the entirety of the bottom floor done. Although in this version, there's no doors. So please feel free to put a door wherever you'd like. Now for the longer area, the longer sides, we're gonna go ahead and do matching up with where these logs are. Another set of logs that go up three blocks tall. Then for the shorter sides, we're gonna put one log on top of the sandstone bricks like a so 
and this was just as a placement so I could get the right direction on that log until it's like that. Then we're going to go ahead and come over four blocks, so one, two, three, four, and on the fourth you're going to put one little log. Then we're going to skip two and then put three logs and then we're going to skip two and put one more log and that'll be that until you have something like this. Now for this top log up here for the roof, you can go ahead and take it all the way down this side as well. However, with how I designed the roof, you're not going to see this portion of the log at all. So it's totally optional if you want to save wood, don't do it. Now filling at the shorter sides, we're going to go ahead and do one block layer of smooth sandstone. Then we're going to go ahead and put in two windows. The two windows are right underneath the logs directly to the center, I guess you could say, the center of the roof from these smaller guys. So here, you're going to put a slab. And on this one, you're going to put a slab. And then you're just going to fill huh, the rest, not like that, of these blocks with smooth sandstone, or as I did in my single player world, with sand as well, because I like to make them vary. Until you have that. And I did, I'm not going to do this here, but I did use spruce trap doors here to cover the windows. You could also keep them open if you want, and then just put banners hanging as I know that was a common thing to do, was just have curtains, basically. Like that, kind of hanging over your windows instead. If you're going to do the curtains, actually, you could even put another slab there and then do that. Which I might end up changing in my single player world to include that, as well as the trapdoors. We'll see. Now for the longer side, we're going to do windows as well. Starting with this guy, it's awkward because most of these pieces are three blocks wide, except for the two ends here that are actually four. However, we're going to keep the window centered in the middle of the three planks we have here. So you can go ahead and fill this in with three blocks just fine. Three blocks again, and then this one is the middle of the plank, so we're going to put a half slab there and have it open like that. Then for the, of course, the normal windows that are only three blocks wide, again, just do this outer border of smooth sandstone and then put a slab in the middle and leave it open and if you'd like to do again with the curtains or the banner sorry you can do another half slab on top and a banner on top until you have something like this now for the roof we're going to go ahead and start by putting a full block out and forward from this log i should say so it comes forward one and over one and it's a full block then we're going to just bring it up a half slab until we reach the middle point, like so. And again, we're going to do the same thing down here, full block, and then bring it up as a half slab slope. Super easy, barely an inconvenience <laughs> reference if you watch that YouTuber. And then again, you're going to just fill in these slots with sandstone or sand until you have something like that. And from here, you just connect this roof to that one, going straight across with the brick slab. Super easy. I did do some additional details over here where I put an extra slab down, or you could do a stair here instead to make it look like it's supporting the roof more, but that's totally up to you. And I just wanted to, oh, that buffer, feel that buffer as it loads the world in. I just wanted to pop into my single player world so I could show you exactly what they looked like when I built them. Again, I think I'm going to go through them though and add those banners on the windows just because I like the way it looked in the test world. And yeah, I'm glad you guys watched this video. Let me just make sure I'm in creative. There we go. <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment if you have anything to comment, and subscribe if you're new. As always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, bye guys!